everyone, today we are going to show you how to set up your Wacom One with Affinity Photo. Now let's jump over to Affinity Photo and have a look at the user interface. You just open Affinity Photo and be greeted with a little jellyfish. And upon launching Affinity Photo, you will see a window with a workspace layout similar to most creative software applications. A toolbar on the left, additional control and menus along the top, and a series of panels along on the right side. There is also a nice welcome screen giving you welcomes or updates from Affinity Store, links to tutorials, social feed, and a new document button. That's what we want to click on. Once you're in a new document window, you will see a ton of different presets. You can make your own presets or use print, press ready, photo, web, devices, there's just a ton. And you can look into them as you want. If we want to do just pixel based, we can go into document units, change it to pixel. Maybe we just want to do 1920 by 1080. And in the color, you can choose color format, CMYK is for printing, or RGB is for digital display. So since we are doing a 1920 and a 1080, we are going to change it to RGB. And then just hit create. On the left side, you are going to see all of the tools that you are going to be using with Infinity Photo. For example, I'm going to use the brush tool and simply draw with my Wacom One pen. Now, if I want pen pressure, I can simply just click on the little force pressure button that's up on top. And now I can go from skinny to thick. You can use the hand tool, for example, to move your canvas around or use your crop tool to readjust the size of your canvas and just hit apply. On the right side, you have your studio panels. If I want to change a color, I can go into the color tab, find another color, for example. I will use the paint bucket tool and then fill the background. Or if I want to use another brush, I can go into the brush folder and look at the very extensive list of different brushes. And I'll just use that. Go back to color, pick another fancy color. Let's say, uh, I don't know, purple? Purple totally doesn't go with green, but let's just use that anyway. I don't know what that is, but just to show you that it works. And in the middle section, you can do a lot of color adjustment with the adjustment panel, or you can go into layers, Start a new layer using the bottom right icon called Add Pixel Layer. I'm going to give this little, I don't know what, a bowl. So now the bowl is going to be on the second layer. You can disable it, enable it again. And if you want to zoom in, you can use the navigator tool that is on the bottom. So that is a very basic introduction to Affinity Photo. In the next video, we're going to jump right into photo editing. Hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you very much.